Hi, today I'll show you how to use Email Bypass software. If you already have an Email Bypass account, you can log in using your username and password. If you don't have an account yet, click on Register New Account button. It will open your internet browser on a website where you can register a new account. If you have an account but you forgot your password, click Lost your password button. Clicking the question mark button will open a tutorial showing how to use email bypass. To begin, click Connect. If you don't have the latest version of the software, it will begin to update automatically. Remember, updates in Emo Bypass are free. Click Connect. You will receive a notification before your subscription ends. You can see the current version of the software in the top left corner of the window. Your username and the number of days until the end of subscription is shown at the top of the window. History is one of many functions in the program. It contains the list of 20 recently opened files. You can also compare two files. The differences will be highlighted with a contrasting color. If you want to use a prepared binary file, you can send it to the email address that you entered during registration. If you want to send another file, you have to wait 10 minutes. Another button is Buy Subscription. Clicking it will take you to a website where you can renew your subscription after providing your details. If you want to contact technical support about an ECU, you can make a post on our official forum. If you want to report a problem with the functioning of the program, you can write on the email address listed in the contact section. My account section redirects to a sub-page where you can see and edit your details. In the column on the left, you can see a file browser and the list of car brands. The first item on the list is the support folder. Our technician uses it when he is answering questions on the forum. This is the folder where he puts the edited files. I will now show you an example of how you can use email bypass. For example, go to BMW, Gasoline, MS43, Emo Off and Virgin, read the description and check the pictures. Read the description and check the pictures. You can use the navigation tools to the left to look at the pictures. Open the folder with the ECU name or number and read the description. Check the pictures. Descriptions contain information about cars, ECUs, and detailed instructions for solutions. Photos can help you learn how a given ECU looks, the location and type of memory or processor, as well as pinouts which will help you connect the ECU on the table. A bin file is the content of the ECU's memory that you can compare in the comparing section or send a complete file to your email. If you need, you can open the program in full screen mode. In the bottom left corner, you can see a news bar. It's used for posting important information, as well as information about discounts. The advertisement banner is located above. Clicking it will take you to our technical channel on YouTube, but it's also used for discount notifications. 
The last thing that I wanted to show you is the last item on the list. Suggested and useful tools. It contains a list of tools, interfaces and devices required to work with car electronics. That's all. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.